Hello and welcome to another tutorial from Igloo Imaging. Today we're looking at Adobe Illustrator CC and a vintage logo design effect. They're quite popular at the minute. Gives you this sort of degraded look on uh, on standard fonts, standard letters. So this is the kind of thing we're going to go for, and I'm going to show you how to uh, how to create this. Just move this one down. So first up, you want some text. Um, I've got three different fonts here, um, and just over to the side, I've I've got them down here. So the first one's thirsty, this one's gin, and this one's century gothic. And there's a few little shortcuts you can use. So if you select these, hold down V, hold Alt, see the cursor's changed to double there, click and drag these over. And uh, if you align to artboard, and it's banger in the center, then we're good to go. So press T and you want vintage. And then this one, there you go. Imaging and this one. Oh, good design. So I'm going to shift these two down. I'm going to get the text on a nice arc. You can use a pen tool and draw an arc, or you can do it a slightly different way. I like to draw an ellipse, match up with the other one. So we're about right. Make it nice and big. around there and then from the ellipse you could add a couple of paths in and take the others away and that kind of thing or you can just draw a rectangle over it about there make sure both are centralized again just hit V and then horizontal align center and then down on pathfinder what you want to do is just minus front it gets you that changes a fill to a stroke get rid of fill and hit P which is a pen tool you just add a little path in there, direct select it with A and get rid of it. Make sure that's in the center of your artboard and you're good to go. So what you want to do is select vintage, hit command C which copies it, get rid of that, press T for text and then hold down the T up here and you've got type on a path tool. So just click on this path and hit command V which pastes it in. Obviously it's pasted it upside down which is some old preset that must have been in there. So double click the T, hit preview here, and you want to flip it over. So once you've hit that, you can then press A, the direct select tool, and select this little square here, and drag it to the end. And because that font is centralized, then it's going to be in the center there. So I'll just hit V, drag these down a bit further, give it some space. So rather than creating another arc and keeping going, all I'm going to do is Hold down Alt so the other cursor appears and pull this down so it copies it. And again, select the image in, Command C, get rid of that, and then T, and then Command A, select it all, Command V, paste it in. So we've pasted it on the same arc. We're going to do that. We don't need to do that on the logo design because that's just going to be straight. So we'll push that one up there to about the right spot. So the next thing we want is, is a couple of embellishments of lines, some sort of arrow looks and some stars. So the first one is lines, it's a line tool, it's, it's fairly straightforward. Click, hold down shift and it'll draw you a straight line. Select the stroke, in this case it's black. And the weight you want about two and a half point. So select that. Hold down the alt tool again, drag it down and get the text in the center, there and thereabouts. And then for the arrows, you want to draw a square. As you draw the square, if you hold down Shift, it'll do it proportionally. So let that go. V, rotate them around 90 degrees. If you hold down the Shift key, as you rotate, you can see the percentage there, but if you hold down Shift, it'll jump to 45. And that's what you want. You want to press A, direct select, drag that out, and that makes you a, a nice arrow. Now the bounding box has gone, obviously rotated around as well. If you prefer it to be normal, then you can just hit Unite. It goes back to normal, so drag that down a little bit. Pop 
pop it next to that. And then again, Alt, drag it along, rotate it around, holding Shift and jump in 45 degree increments. You can Command G and group those together and just make sure they're in the center. Do it with everything. There we go. Now that's pretty much looking about the same. We're going to add in some stars. So under the square tool up here, the rectangle tool, you've got the star tool. As you as you drag it out, you can see it's it's not 90 degrees. I don't know what that means. Hold down, hold down Command Alt rather, and uh, Shift, and it'll make it a, a straight-sided uh, star. We hit V, make it small, drag it across here. Command Y converts everything to uh, the view to outlines, and you can then just line up those two bottom points. Again, hold and hold down, copy one across, hit R, okay. move that along, and again, a bit further, R, and then down, touch. With V, select all three, hold down Alt, drag them across, and then underneath the rotate tool, you're gonna to find reflect. Double click that, and you want vertical, Click preview on, hit OK. It's almost there, a couple of movements out. There we go. And then Command Y again to go back to what it looks like. So that's that's pretty much it. We need to now add in the, the degraded effect. And you can do that a number of ways. You can start from scratch and, and make your own sort of degraded pattern. And what I do is because I'm lazy, I buy one off short of stock or high stock. And I'm going to use this one today. Um, there's various different ones you can go for. Um, I've already pasted this into the document over here. So if you bring this over here, make sure it's at the front so you can hold Command Shift and one of the brackets and that will pop it to your front. Um, first things first, we need to make sure all these live texts and live paths are converted to outlines. So you can convert the fonts to outlines or you can just go straight to Object and Expand. And this will give you the, the choice to do object fill and stroke all at the same time. Hit OK, and now you can see that everything is just black, so that's what you want. There's no strokes in there or anything like that. The vintage, if you hold Z, press Z rather, and you can now move in and out. It animates the, the zoom, which is a new feature. I don't know whether it's any use, but it's a new feature. Select vintage, go to Pathfinder and unite them all. So then it just makes it one solid shape. So what we're gonna do is select these and these, group them together, Command G, make sure they're centralized. Make sure this is centralized. And this and these. And you can group these two together, which are all at hand, centralize those, done. Make sure these are centralized. Yeah. Okay, that looks pretty good. So now, if you group all these together, and then we're going to drag this over the top, and normally we just minus front. But if you don't make them a compound path, then it'll just minus this pattern out of one of the, the shapes. So you want it to apply all of these shapes together. So if you hit Command A, that makes a compound path, which is objects, compound path there. You can release it with Shift and Alt and Command 8. So now that's all together. Again, make sure this lot is at the front. And what we're going to do is move this over. And then hold Alt down and Shift and drag it across like this to about there so it's a seamless pattern once you've done it once just hit command d it's a quick shortcut it does exactly what you just did repeats any command the last command so then let's select these three and make these a compound path so command eight now you've created a lot of paths here so it's going to be pretty complicated um if you've got a speedy computer you should be okay 
So select everything, and then minus front. Might take a few seconds just to take all these paths out of the, um, the solid shape in the background. And there we go. So that's what you're left with. And now that is just one solid shape. If you want to change it, change its colour, you can you can do it. And that's pretty much it. A few other options I've tried out, one with a, a solid background. Um, again, there's lots of different effects you can try and lots of different patterns you can you can use. So hopefully this has been useful. If you uh, if you like the video, if it was helpful then um, then Please like the video and, and stay tuned for some more tutorials.